What's up, y'all? Trucker's Life, and I'm back, y'all. Tonight, I'm going to do something simple with a little exotic meat. I'm going to grill up these this wild boar uh, loin and some potato. Something simple, but yet exotic. Delicious. Just check me out. I know y'all... I know y'all saw the video of me with my baby. I'm going to start doing that more often, getting out of the truck, spending more quality time with my daughter. Cause she, she deserves it, y'all. She deserves it more than anybody else does. I don't think I'm going to do with this potato. I'm going to split it just like that. Now I'm going to wipe the knife off and put some butter on it. Let that dry, of course. Yeah, y'all. Can y'all believe? Got an actual wild boar roast. Wild boar, y'all. Can y'all see that? Wild boar. Yes, sir. I just realized it got a little hole in the bottom of the bag. Good thing I had it thawing in a bag. Okay, here we go, y'all. Just put some butter on it. Oh, let me turn this on first. Get it to temperature. There we go. Just put some butter on it. This is gonna be easy. It's easy food tonight, y'all. It's gonna be like a baked potato, but just on the grill on a smokeless grill and then once it starts grilling and cooking and getting soft and y'all know what a baked potato gets like I'm gonna put that on there and then but once it gets done I'm gonna use this this truffle parmesan and black garlic seasoning for the potatoes and then for the uh Wild boar, I'm going to use a bearded butcher's black seasoning. Like I said, something simple tonight, y'all. I got to wake up early to get on this road and get this load delivered by 8 o'clock. Good thing is, I only got like 60 miles to go. So it ain't too bad T tonight. I can do something quick. Watch me some TV. Watch Kwame Brown tear up some more, some more Hassan Campbell. I don't know if y'all like Kwame Brown, but hey, I do. I agree with a lot of the stuff he says. Because I've been saying it for years. I just don't have the platform. So for him to have the platform and to finally have somebody that can say it, it means something now. People are starting to open their eyes. I'm going to put this right right there yeah like I said before Cowboys Joe Boo open this and just sit this down just like this and put it on one side on that side and then put this down right there and what I'm gonna do I'm about to put the loin on there straight on the grill Right on there, y'all. Uh, at 300, it's at 325 right now. I'm about to put this loin on there, and then I'm gonna put the bearded butcher seasoning on it. And let's see how it comes out, y'all. So I have to get my, my scissors to cut the bag open. Trash, trash bags right there, right there. As the Midwest homies would say. Okay, 
check this nice, beautiful loin out. Yeah, watch, listen to this. Yes, yeah, y'all, this is how we cooking in a Martin vehicle, y'all. It's a Martin truck. Y'all know that, though. Shout out to all my Martin drivers. Hey, and all my drivers, period. Y'all stay safe. Let me just put this on here. I'm putting on pretty liberal because this is some good seasoning, y'all. I love this stuff. I've had it on Wagyu. I've had it on different cuts of meat. Let's see what it tastes like on a roast. On a wild boar loin. Sirloin, whatever you want to call it. There we go. But what I got to do, because I was a dumbass and got too excited to record again, I forgot to put water in my drip tray. Let me do that real quick. There we go. Because that's what helps suck that, suck that smoke down. But yeah, y'all. I'll be back with the next step. I'll let you. I'll be back. And what we're going to do, because I got the outside seared, I'm going to turn the temperature down so I can get the inside cooked now. So, I want you guys to, hey, share this content, y'all. Share the hell out of it. Show everybody. Share it on your Facebook, your whatever. Let's grow this channel so I can start doing this stuff live. Hey. Let's grow it, baby. Let's grow it. Hey. Hey, y'all. We back. And we about to show y'all what it looks like so far. There we go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's wild boar, y'all. If you're where I get it from, check out Crowd Cow, y'all. Check them out. Top quality beef, pork, whatever kind of pork you like. They sent me a sampler pack. So, here we go. We, try, we sampling it out. And hey, I want to shout out to all the fleet managers in Phoenix that tried out my food. I had all good reviews. I made a chuck roast for them. Just as a thank you because, hey, I got we got some good fleet managers in this field. Or in, in this company, I should say. Because I've had some dumb ones in the field. But. <clears throat> I felt like, hey. My flea manager keeps me moving, y'all. He, he keeps me paid. He keeps it to where I can take care of my daughter. I can get our hotel room if I, if I want to. Or. We can get a. We can get the pool. And. And all that stuff. So. You guys. If you're a driver. Ain't nothing wrong with making your food and you take, you eat your portion and you take the rest of your fleet managers. If you're around them, hey, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised the outcome. But I'll be back when it's done. 92. All right, y'all. What we're going to do now, <clears throat> to keep it moist, I'm going to put some butter on the loin just to give it an extra flavor boost, you know what I mean? Put it on this side first, of course, because it's a side up. And then I'll flip it and put some more on the other side. This is going to be so good, y'all. Ooh, I'm excited. To be honest, I have not had wild boar since I was in culinary school. So I know how it tastes. But I, it's been a long time since I had it because I haven't been in culinary school since, what, 05, 06? Yeah, it was 06 when I went to culinary school. So y'all do them. Damn, I feel old after saying that. Butter 
Oh, it's melting on it, baby. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize I couldn't even look at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, flip it, watch your sizzle. Oh, it didn't even sizzle because I have it down low, I forgot. My bad, y'all. Some butter on this side. Grab the onion. I know I get a lot of people that taste my food and tell me I shouldn't be a truck driver. I should be running a, a, a food truck or a restaurant. But you know what? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I love being a truck driver. I know y'all saw a different side of me today. But you know what? I get irritated by professional drivers that are supposed to be professional, but drive like amateurs. Y'all saw the guy cut me off earlier as I'm going past him that was slamming my brake. Y'all saw the accident today. In that lane, it specifically said before you got to it, no trucks. But you see a truck in there and then he's cussing on the CB radio about the accident but it is what it is he got his flowers because he had to take that big ass truck with the trailer and he had to guess what back out of a small area and I'm sitting there laughing because <clears throat> I saw him when he went over there when he went to that lane and I told him hey you think we're slow now? There got to be an accident up, up ahead. We kept going, we kept going. All right, cool. And then I see him back, trying to back out. As soon as his his uh, back of his trailer hit the K wall or tapped it, you see him freak out real quick. Hey, that's why you don't go over there. When it says no trucks, trucks stay in right lane. There's a reason. But alright y'all, I'll be back. I know y'all ain't trying to hear trucker drama. But alright y'all. Alright y'all. I'm sorry. I brought y'all in a little late. I just... Putting this seasoning on the potatoes. And then I'm going to caramelize the downside, which is where I put a lot of the seasoning at. You see? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, I did stupid shit. Stupid thing I should say. Now I'm seasoning the back side of it. So while it caramelizes the cheese. And I'm trying to coat it. So that way it kind of soaks into the skin as well. I like potato skins myself, but we'll do this right now. Like I said, everything I do on here, it's a trial. But we'll see how it works out, y'all. This right here. I tried it on chicken, and it was delicious. It was amazing. Because it actually has black truffle in it, so it, it's pretty good. But I'll be back. All right, y'all, we back. And we about to slice this wild boar up, y'all. We about to slice this up. Take, I'm about to do real thin slices. I wanted that like a medium rare because it's wild boar, so it's gonna, if you cook it too long, it's going to have that super gaminess to it. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Tell me that's not perfectly cooked. This is beautiful, y'all. And it's so, look at that. That's like, perfect. show y'all what it looked like well, before I cut it. 
like I told y'all, this is wild board is not regular domesticated pork, so it's gonna have a a sweeter yet nuttier flavor. And I'm doing this cooking tonight because I gotta head to Utah tomorrow. And I really only have 24 hours to get my load that I gotta pick up tomorrow to Utah. Pick it up tomorrow at noon is due, I think at 11 or something the next morning. So, I was planning on doing a video tomorrow, but when I saw that load, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick video tonight. Show y'all what I'm doing. And if I run into some drivers, hey, I'll give them the extras. This is what we can do for each other, y'all. Hey, you guys, and if I, well, today I'm actually in the back in the grapevine at the pilot. So if you watch this video, if you ever watch any of my videos and you are where I say I'm, I'm located, let me know and I'll give y'all a free plate. On me, I'll do that for y'all. Y'all support me, so I support y'all. But let me do a taste test real quick. Let me see. Let me see. We got a little piece right here. Ooh. Oh, shit. Mm. You guys. Oh, God. I got a bigger, get a bigger piece. So y'all can see how this bite just melts in your mouth mm. hey y'all this right here banging mm. look I just grab him look look how easy how tender that is mmm Y'all yeah, see that look? Mmm. It's so juicy. Mmm. What I'm gonna tell you guys, if y'all have a chance go on crowdcow.com get their wild boar y'all it's the other piece look 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 it's a fatter fatter piece look oh my gosh this is delicious you guys mmm My God, I need to order another one of these. Mm. I'm just melting your mouth. It don't even, it's not chewy at all. Mm. Let me put this up here. So I'll eat it all before the potatoes are done. Oh my God. It's got a flavor like none other. That's not pork. It has a texture of like super, oh, I can't even explain it. Super tender, sweet, nutty. Okay, it's like pork sirloin times 10 with the flavor, but times 10 with the tenderness. So you get 10 times the flavor, but 10 times the tenderness. It's not stringy. Oh, man. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know I can actually make it better. This is my first time actually cooking it 100% myself. And it came out that good. Y'all, I'll holla at y'all later. Truckers. Cowboys Nation. And I'm out.